E-bike sales are skyrocketing around the world and super popular, but with this comes a different type of rider generally. Someone who isn't a cyclist, isn't always that fit. And this comes with a few challenges in terms of bike fitting. I'm gonna run through five fit tips today for e-bike riders. If you're a rider that has old injuries or problems that prevent you from riding a regular bike, an e-bike is an amazing option. It's gonna allow you to do everything you wanna do on a regular bike, but with power assisted pedaling. There are a few issues that come with e-bikes and also e-bike riders. So depending on the type of rider you are, if you're riding an e-bike because of certain injuries and problems prevent you from riding a normal bike, the setup process is gonna be a little bit different to a regular rider. Probably being a bit more upright, less stretched out, less pressure on the back and shoulders. And if you've got knee problems, getting the saddle height perfect is essential. If your saddle's too low, you're gonna end up getting knee problems and lots of lower back problems. If your saddle's too high, you can cause a lot of tension in the back of the knee, and also you can be overstretching around the pedal stroke. Riding with the saddle too low is very common for new riders. New riders tend to like to be able to touch the ground, so the seat ends up being super low, geared towards that. But you wanna gear the saddle height for when you're riding, not for when you're stopping still. If you look at the percentage you're riding, it's gonna be over 95%, versus less than 5% where you're actually putting your feet down. So set that saddle height to the correct height, where you've actually got a good extension and you're taking pressure off the knees. To get off the bike, you simply slide forward off the seat. It's always worth getting someone to show you how to ride properly and all these little tips and tricks before you go out on the first ride. This takes us on to finding the correct saddle for your body type. You can get many saddles that are really padded, less padded, short, long. There are certain saddles out there that are termed as technically custom. Something like a Brooks or a Sal Anatomica, these have a leather cover on them and mold to your body over time. They do take a bit of bedding in, a nice bedding in process, which can take quite a bit of time to really get it dialed perfectly, but you have to persevere. And in the end, these seats will become really comfortable. It's really a bit of a hit and miss process in terms of selection. Now we developed a website called mysaddlefit.com late last year. Uh, this allows you to go in and input a bit of your body data and it will give you a PDF report. Many riders will have multiple saddles sat in the garage at home that simply just haven't worked over time. It can be quite an expensive process. Good to get this done right first time. Do it once, do it right. Cycle shorts are a must have for any new e-bike rider. You may think riding on a bike with a real comfy saddle, you won't need shorts. If you've got a saddle that's really padded and really comfortable, it's gonna be great for a short distance. As soon as you start clocking up those miles, it's gonna become very uncomfortable. You're gonna get numbness, tingling, and all kinds of things that are really unpleasant for the body. Get yourself a decent pair of cycle shorts with a nice honeycomb style padding. Remember, you really wanna make sure a lot of the padding is in the shorts and not the bike saddle itself. This way you will avoid all that numbness and tingling on longer distance rides. Don't be afraid to go outside of the usual boundaries when looking at an e-bike and the e-bike setup. Flat bars are a regular a norm on bikes you buy nowadays, but you can get riser bars anywhere from 10 mil up to 80, 90 mil in height. They'll allow you to take a lot of pressure off the lower back and shoulders. This can sometimes be necessary if you've got old injuries or discomforts that prevent you from riding a regular bike. Another great upgrade you can use on your e-bike is a pair of ergo grips. Ergon do some of these and you can actually find lots of other brands that do very similar models. They take pressure off the hands, spread the weight over a larger area and are really a game changer in terms of comfort. Getting the right e-bike for your type of riding. There's so many different types of e-bike nowadays. You've got road bike, mountain bike, gravel bike, touring bike, city bike. If you're a city rider and you're riding a fat tired mountain bike, it's not really gonna help. It's gonna be really uneconomical. You're gonna go through a lot of battery life really quickly, and not to mention the tires. It can become a very expensive process to have the wrong type of bike for your riding. If you're a city rider, 
get yourself a nice city bike. If you're a mountain biker, get yourself a proper e-mountain bike. I can't thank everyone enough for all the continued support with this YouTube channel. We're growing incredibly fast and I really just can't thank you all enough. If you want us to continue making these videos with bike fit tips and advice, please hit the subscribe button down below. Give us a few shares, we'll really appreciate it.